Gentlemen and ladies, it is time for some new Big Tuna content. Today we are talking about some class tunings that are coming, n not next week, literally tomorrow. Okay, I was kind of late on this. So, class tunings are coming tomorrow and Shaman has something, alright? A little sum sum. So if you look here, we can see that our, our two bullet points here. Healing surge healing increased by 10% and chain heal healing increased by 10%. Big Tuna, this is pretty minuscule. Does this really require a video to be made on? No, not really. I just need content because the content this past week has just been pretty abysmal for the channel. But I also did want to mention some stuff that I usually always mention in every video uh, regarding Enhancement Shaman issues. So I'm going to mention it again for the sake of content. So this is interesting. It's mostly directed towards Restoration Shaman. Um, you you know, you recently with you know certain healer changes, they, the Blizzard wants cast healing to be good. All right, they want cast healing to be good. You can skip this part, by the way, but they want cast healing to be good. So in their mind, they'd feel like cast healing doesn't heal for anything. So they're going to continue to buff the actual heal amount. However, it doesn't matter because it's not the fact that cast healing doesn't heal for anything. It's the fact that you can't get off cast healing due to the number of interrupts, stuns, and CC effects in the game. That's like the minute you see that cast bar, it's like you're going to get trained to run down and interrupted. It's like you're not going to be able to play the game. So. Blizzard doesn't realize that, I guess, so there's going to continue to buff the healing amount, but that's not what the point of the video is. The point of the video is that this doesn't really do much for Shaman in general. So, it's kind of like a band-aid band -aid issue, for, and this is a common issue with Blizzard, um, where they don't really know what the center focus and what the main problem with the spec is. So they usually just do like flat kind of like damage increases and healing increases, and people just kind of eat it up like it's Christmas. You know, uh, hunters, hunters do pretty good damage right now. The only, their main issue is that, yeah, the survivability is not that great. They literally have a wall, a, you know, uh, and they literally have an astral shift on a three minute cooldown. That, and they have the talent to reduce that cooldown to, 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 uh, to 2.4 minutes. That's really bad. So, and turtle just sucks in general. Like it's always sucked since it was, you know, changed from deterrence. So yeah, it, it's really bad, but you know, so, but instead they're kind of buffing their damage by like, what, 5%, like a flat overall damage increase, so a lot of like band-aid stuff like that just, again, it's, it's lazy and it's just like, it's no, there's no really thought process to it, there's these, you know, they're just, they're class tunings, they're not really, uh, you know, heavily looked into. And this is one of them, healing surge increased, chain healing increased, yeah, it does really nothing. So, with Enhancement Shaman, whenever you talk about issues of Enhancement Shaman, you always have the same issues brought up, survivability, defensiveness, you know, utility, CC, not utility, uh, CC, you know, mobility, and then some minor issues with the, just how the spec works in general. And the main one that's always brought up, no matter what, is of course, your survivability. I die too much, I'm focused too much, I can't heal through this pressure, I take too much damage, alright? You know, this is a common issue that's always been around. And Blizzard is pretty strict on what they want classes to have, specific classes to have, defensive-wise. and. You know what, the, the actual thread of how valuable each class has in terms of, you know, survivability is a lot shorter than they think. They think it's pretty massive and they think it's amazing, but in reality, it doesn't really do anything. And Enhancement Shaman is one of them. They think that Enhancement Shaman off healing and, you know, the utility of Enhancement Shaman's brings is kind of what they want it to be leveled at, where it's really not. That healing is just not enough to to keep me or to keep my, my teammates alive. For you know to actually live and be able to <laughs> play the game, so <laughs> so the healing surge increase doesn't really matter. Okay, the main issue with the, with the enhancement shaman is that yeah, the fact is you take too much damage. So you can buff healing surge all you want. You can make it heal for the difference between enhancement shaman right now and you know in shadowlands is that yeah, shadowlands he still died, but he's just thinking healing surge healed for an absolute fuck ton. It was it was crazy how much healing surge healing surge healed for. Right, it was. You could say broken, you could say you just healed for too much. Yeah, it was a lot of healing, all right? But you, st but the damage is still there. You still took damage and you still took, you know, you were still pressured just as easily. It's just that your healing surge healing was just pretty fucking massive. I'm not saying bring that back and, you know, make... I, I don't know if they want healing surge to be at that level again. Clearly not because, I mean, they nerfed our Maelstrom spending, our Maelstrom spending abilities by, you know, quite a bit since the release of Dragonfly. So, highly certain they don't want that to be there, so... So why are we buffing healing surge? I think we would all rather we would all rather keep healing surge the way it is. It's fine, I guess. Now in 10.0.7, if you don't know, they are doing a talent rework or not rework. It's not rework, but kind of talent reach around. Yes, yeah, a reach around. 
So they're moving certain talents around. Certain talent effects are being, you know, changed for the general talent tree of, you know, Shaman. So I'm honestly looking forward to it. You can check it out in the, in the description if you want to. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Some people don't like it. You can check it out for yourself. If you like it, you hate it, you love it, you're bummed out about it, whatever. But I'm pretty hyped. I have my eyes on certain abilities that I would really like to test out. So I'm excited. All right. But, <clears throat> but with this, it's just kind of... Again, I, I, band aid changes like this just flat increases to certain abilities. I just, I really never liked because, again, like I said, it just shows laziness. And, you know, it's a clear example. So, he, though, so, I mean, this could be more impactful than I think because 10.0.7, one of the changes that is happening is that your, and your insight, what is it? Your um, something insight, basically, you know, the ability you flame shock, your healing surge is increased by 20%, and the mana cost of it is reduced by 30 percent or the numbers are switched around i don't know that's now being moved to the enhancement shaman tree and the elemental shaman tree and is being and is being put in place of ancestor wolf affinity which if you don't know that is in the the uh, talent node between ancestor wolf affinity and refreshing waters 25 percent extra healing or extra healing surge healing on yourself when used on yourself so you have to choose between 25 percent just by default healing or 20% healing with a uh, reduced mana cost. All right. So either way, the your healing is going to be nerfed just a tad bit because you now, you, right now, you have both those abilities. Whereas in 10.0.7, you're going to have one of those abilities. Definitely does suck. All right. So maybe this could be more impactful than I think. I don't know. But in reality, again, it's just a band-aid change. It doesn't really matter. This is, is it's not going to fix the main issue, which is survivability. So they want. They, I get. They want. I guess to slowly steady increase the healing of enhancement shaman why because enhancement shaman it's a hybrid um blizzard doesn't like hybrids so i don't really know why they're doing this but you know i mean again from the dawn of time enhancement shaman or at least when maelstrom weapon was actually introduced in wrath um not in wrath but uh you know when uh yeah when sorry i kind of lost my train of thought Oof, jesus christ big tuna so <laughs> when enhancement shaman got maelstrom weapon and was actually started to you know their heals became instant cast that's when enhancement shaman started to become more hybrid like okay i can instant cast to use my heals on myself my teammates yada yada my totems general just shaman shaman utility became more of a hybrid and over the course of years you know enhancement shaman has always been more of that hybrid healing class in the sense of yeah my heals actually heal for a good amount and are always going to be mostly at the top of the game in terms of other hybrids now you have your own issues like mana and d defensive wise but my off healing was always great so i guess that's kind of what they want his shaman to just always be which is be a, a heal bot instead of actually being able to survive on your own because right now all your utility isn't really your own it's mostly for your teammates so and that's a sense for other hybrids like rep paladin it's not you know, that's what they mentioned with Red Paladin is that a lot of its utility is only meant for your teammates instead of there's no really self utility. So I kind of wish that was also brought into the Shaman light if, you know, hopefully when we do get when we, when we do get a rework, Enhancement Shaman um, can see something like that. All right. But the main issue with Enhancement Shaman is not necessarily the this healing increase that we're going to get. No, it's the fact that, again, you just you just take damage. You just take too much damage compared to other classes. Again, other classes, I've said it before, passive survivability, passive healing, passive damage reduction has just proved to be more potent than than a lot of other classes. You know, stuff like Soul Leech and, you know, Spell Warding, um, Demon Hunters having just t passive 10% magic reduction. Um, you know, Warriors was, Warriors used to have, you know, or for your Warriors, War Paint was 10%, now it's 5%, and you just know how easily Warriors just flop over right now, or for your Warriors at least. You know, and so passive healing and passive damage reduction right now has just proved to be, you know, in its current state, very, very strong, very, very potent. And, you know, stuff like actual casted heals and casted utility is just casted reduction is just not it's not as strong anymore. You know, it's clearly not. I mean, again, you look at any any match against a warlock and you see that they're going to be out healing you most of the time, you know, about like 60 50 it's like half and half but i'd say more of like a 60 60 40 percent times they're going to be out healing you which is crazy they're not even they don't they're not even a hybrid they don't have you know a healing or tank spec like no they're just a straight dps how's this guy out healing me and continuing to do more damage to me 
All right, pretty pretty damn troll. Shamanistic Rage. All right, one and a half minute cooldown, 30 percent 30 damage reduction. Use a bonus stun. Your abilities regenerated or restored mana was great. <clears throat> Why hasn't Blizzard added that? I don't know. I mean, like I said in my previous video, they just really want to stick with uh, the whole Astral Shift kind of being our main defensive. Th that's great and all. Cool. I would like you know, like if, if that's what you think is best for the best for the class. Okay, I, I'll guess I'll support it. But the fact is, it's not what's best for the class. And if you're really gonna stick with Astral Shift, then you really need to make it better. So, another change coming in 10.0.7 is is um yeah their astral bulwark is going to be in, is it going to be a 50 or 20 percent extra damage reduction and your uh, astral ship is going to last 12 seconds it's going gonna, it's gonna to last 12 seconds instead of eight by default so if you take astral bulwark and you have a 60 percent wall pretty damn crazy 60 percent wall pretty juicy all right so <laughs> it's, it's pretty damn nice now unfortunately that's just not going to be it's not going to be enough and the other the other solution that people have is yeah make astral ship usable in a stun there are a couple abilities in the game that are usable in a stun or defensive abilities so you have ibf iso fortitude for death knights that you know removes all stun effects on you and makes it so you take 30 percent dam reduced damage for eight seconds you have royal sacrifice for hunters which makes you immune to critical strikes and transfers 20 percent of the damage you take transfers to your pet um death or uh death pact death pact soul pact whatever you want to call it yeah death pact um 250 percent of your current maximum health um use a bonus stun gives you an absorb shield pretty damn nice bark skin 20 percent damage reduction gives you a little bit of a little bit of an absorb shield yeah it's pretty nice you know so you know usable usable defensives and stuns is pretty great now do i want that for handsome shaman i mean i'm not gonna be against or you know i mean usable abilities like that that are you know pretty pretty direct and pretty you know pretty um i guess universal i guess that's the word i'm looking for for like that specific class i never really liked abilities that are universal for that class standard for that class i should say that other abilities or other classes can just get easily like again mortal strikes every class is a mortal strike now you know it's every class is like a self heal now i never really liked you know stuff like that that's pretty standard for a certain spec and has always been standard for that spec slash class just been given out for free for others and made it even better like nether warding for warlocks is just way better than spell reflection even though words that spell reflection first yeah i don't really like that stuff so but i mean if that's what's going to make enhancement shaman better then yeah usable and a stun it's a great option you know another one that some enhancement shamans talk about and i always bring up is make healing surge a passive damage reduction two percent 2% damage reduction for every stack of Melstrom weapon you spend on healing surge. 20% damage reduction if you use 10 stacks. Maybe make it for 6 seconds or 4 seconds. I don't know. Um, yeah, the, just passive damage reduction whenever you, whenever you healing surge can be really amazing. All right. Again, like I said, passive, passive, passive survivability nowadays has just been, you know, proven to be way more potent than, you know, your actual cast and actual on use globals, you know. So, yeah. Um, that's just kind of what I want to talk about just because again i i'm just, i just am sick of tired of just seeing band-aid changes like that um like th like these are real band-aid band -aid changes like you know the the the, cl the talent rework talent you know reach around and stuff like that i think is good i think it's actually pretty solid i mean whether it's a big step in the right direction or a small step again it's an improvement and whether big or small it's just an improvement that we all want to see so, and it's going to give us some options to try out new talents. We're going to be able to take Ancestral Guidance easily now, which is going to be pretty great. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Now, this, now these are real band-aid changes. Just flat out, hey, let's just increase this by 10%, 20%, whatever, you know, 5% that, again, like, they're band-aid changes. They don't really know what the main issue is with the spec. They don't know, they don't know what's going on here, you know? If they're, if they're doing flat changes, like, they don't know, because... The issue is with like a lot of, like again you look at this this blue post you see a lot of classes get pat like passive damage reduction soul fire damage increase for destro locks you know wild imps the bile fiend damage increase for you know increased by 30 percent it's like is that really the issues of the class some of them are just kind of there just because blizzard wants them to be buffed i guess some of them are needed and then the rest are just like yeah it's there's no reason to buff it except not knowing what's the main issue like again hunter's getting five percent increased damage you know for marksman hunter i understand marksman hunter right now 
it still does it can still pump and can still rip into people but you know with the removal of, du of double tap is they're getting like well like a five percent damage increase uh across the board but the removal of double tap made it so like yeah their burst doesn't really hit that hard anymore you know which i mean i never liked double tap because i mean like a, a one minute cd that can just truck anybody like i don't know kind of kind of sus but you know what uh I mean, with the removal of it, yeah, their damage kind of definitely did take a sloop, stoop. So that 5% damage damage increase is something I understand. Whereas the other specs like BM Hunter and Strapple Hunter, I don't understand that at all. And it's the same thing with like this healing increase. Same thing, and especially with this chain heal one, chain heal healing increased by 10%. One of my issues that you hear me talk about it all the time on this channel. One of my issues with, you know, with a lot of abilities in the game in terms of, you know, Spe spec trees and general towns trees that there are abilities that shouldn't be in those trees so for for the for the shaman tree there's no reason for for maelstrom weapon or flurry to be in the general shaman tree it makes no sense at all why because <laughs> why they're meant for enhancement shaman um there's no reason for it to be there for you know general talents should be abilities or talents for that are actual general that every that every spec uses they're just shaman talents you know like 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 astral shift every shaman uses astral shift but not every shaman uses maelstrom weapon same thing with like spirit walker's grace yeah technically it's usable for enhancement shaman but it's like it's not because you don't cast so like why is it in the shop why is it in general tree nature swiftness <laughs> like doesn't doesn't really make any sense for you know for anything but resto or ellie so and one of those issues or one of the abilities that sticks out to me is chain heal chain heal not even not even resto shamans take chain heal or like chain heal why because it just doesn't heal for anything this could have been an opportunity to make chain heal heal for something and especially for elemental and resto like or elemental and enhancement if certain abilities are going to stay in the tree like chain heal they've got you've got to change it up you got to actually make it worth taking you know, because right now, or in 10.0.7, you're going to have to take Chain Heal in order to get Earth Shield. Earth Shield is going to be moved around. So, you have to take, you have to take Chain Heal to take to take um, Earth Shield. So, again, if they made or changed the way Chain Heal worked, or like, again, made it like a budget, made it like a budget, um, like a budget, what's it called? Budget, um chain harvest like again one of the one of the things that paladins are getting in their rework is like a word of, is like a what is it um flash of light there i think i correct me if i'm wrong i'm probably wrong but when they reach when they get below a certain amount of hp they're they're gonna instant cast a, a flash of light um with their healing with like their healing hands i think is gonna be reworked so when they get below like 30 percent hp they're gonna cast like a flash of light or like a buff flash of light i think um, I think it has like what, like a it has internal cooldown every 30 seconds, maybe, but something like that. All right, maybe it could be something like that for for enhancement shaman, or maybe even a bit different. All right, you you every eight seconds or every 10 seconds, five seconds, whatever, chain heal healing is increased by 50 percent and is instant cast. All right, so you know maybe maybe it doesn't cost much weapon. Okay, maybe it's just like a big heal, but you know maybe it's just a big heal in general. Like as if it was ten stacks of Maelstrom weapon, but it doesn't consume Maelstrom weapon. Maybe make it, maybe again, make it only cost mana every ten seconds or so. Chain, you know, chain heal will, you know, will healing will be increased by fifty percent and be instant cast. Something like that. I don't know. You make up the rules here, but it just has to change. Like I really wish chain heal was different. You know, or same thing with like the the red paladin change. You know, when you reach below a certain amount of HP, instant cast a chain heal at fifty percent effectiveness. I don't know, but just band-aid changes like this really irritate me and that's kind of why i made the video that didn't really need to be made because this was a pretty minor change but i just kind of wanted some content yes i'll be that i'll be that guy and i'll admit it so it doesn't make me an asshole if i admit it but <laughs> you know hopefully you guys can look at this and hopefully maybe you can find something useful from this but i mean no matter what i'm always gonna hate you know slap arounds just like this all right so that's just me maybe i'm in the wrong here but boys the video is not closing. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you all saw a beautiful sunset. Links in the description if you want to see more Big Tuna. And always got to like, comment, subscribe because, you know what, <laughs> I kind of need it. All right. I need it. And if you don't, I'm going to um, leak IP addresses. Yes, I know how to do that. When I was in the fifth grade, I don't know how to do it anymore. But boys, the video is not closing. Hopefully you all saw a beautiful sunset, saw a beautiful night sky. And I'll see you guys in the next life. Peace.